Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial of uh, Cat and Robot Navigation Stack. In previous video, uh, we will see how to integrate the LiDAR sensor with an Cat and Robot with an action graph and how to integrate the odometry from the action graph and how to make the TF information from the action graph. So, uh, the RGP camera information from the action graph. So, that's a series of video we will understand how to integrate the action graph with an uh, ISX sim to get integrated with the ROS and ROS1 and ROS2. So, the final video of this is how to integrate the ROS nav2 uh, with uh, a cat and robot using action graph technology so techniques so before that uh, we need to understand that uh, what are the information is needed right so the tf information odometry the map and the sensor information so the odometry information these are five information is needed before uh, making the navigation amr autonomous navigation system so for that uh, we need to type ros2 topic list so I already launched the setup uh, with the cat and, uh, cat and robot with an action graph. So here you can find out that the odometry information, the TF, the scan, the sensor is sensor information is available. So the transformation coordination frame is available. So the odometry is available. So these are all the things we get from the action graph node, right? So next, uh, this is an uh, I already uh, write the blog on this uh, navigation tool cart and robot in medium i will give those links in my description follow that you will get an idea how to integrate the action graph for a uh, nav2 thing right here uh, you, you you can find out that the uh, ros2 publisher odometry is integrated with the cart and, and publisher raw transformation tree articulated controller uh, publisher transform tree and isaac read ladder b and the publishers laser scan so these are nodes uh, this is an action graph is need to create information from the robot and give to the uh, navigation node so differential driver to control the base of the robot two wheel robot uh, and the angular twist movement so this is for computation odometry node and this a uh, subscriber twist right so these are all the information is needed to create a amr uh, robot in uh, Isaac segment using action graph so we already get the, those information from the action graph so we'll start uh, with the navigation now so we we'll launch the RQT once we we'll test how it's connect with the system so there is no nodes right so we'll close this so cross to launch bring up a uh, tutorial uh, which already exists in nav2 uh, documentation i will give in those in uh, description so i am giving the argument as a true to launch uh, with a map uh, directory so where the where was map is located right the map tutorial so i put uh, put in my uh, tutorial video so in that uh, you will understand how the isaac sim is very user friendly to create a mapping so in ROS, uh, ROS2 will use a different mapping approaches to create a map, right? So in ROS1, we'll use a GMAP, HectaMap, Cartographer. In ROS2, we'll use a Cartographer, Slam Toolbox to create a map, right? So here, by clicking on GUI, we'll easily create a map, right? So that's the advantage of using a Isaac save. So I already posted that video, you will get an idea how to create a map. So here, I need to give the path of the map, where the map is exactly located. So then uh, I need to click this. Okay. So then I'm going to launch the Avis. Okay. Now the map is located uh, in Avis. So this is a Varos map. So you can find out that. Okay. These two tracks area is in black color, right? And the robot location is marked here. So then I need to make that static TF transformation. So here uh, you can find out that before I launched the uh, RQ, uh, RQT uh, computer graph thing, there is nothing right. So now after launching the bring up tutorial with the mapping link, so you can find out that a scan information is transferred between the control server. So that will be transferred to the CMT well and the base is going to control by the base topic is cmd well right so the robot base is controlled by the cmd well the these uh, cmd well topic is receiving the velocity and the acceleration uh, information from the entire uh, node so the amcl for localization 
the tf transformation is transferring the information to the things so for uh, well understanding those things uh, we'll see into the base link or pattern ladder so the tf is now visualizing here right so open another terminal will source source opt ros humble setup dot bash okay now type ros to run tell you this keyboard okay now once i doing the tell you operation the wheels will rotate right so i need to change the coordinates to ladder to the base cast okay or base link yeah now you can find out that the tf transformation is uh, showing that how the wheels are rotating in the world so the robot is uh, moving here right the cattle is moving so in our ways you can find out that the both wheel the, these are the front and these are the back so the rotating in uh, this way right uh, right to left so the back wheel coordination is very uh, drastically changing so the coordinates of those things is changing in uh, our ways also so you may understand how the tf is working right a transformation coordination frame so well transferring the components in the robot so those location and those movement will be recorded by the tf uh, transformation library okay then now uh, we'll change the map Relaunch. I think I need to relaunch. Okay. Now we will launch the things. now we get the global local cast map value in uh, rbs so then uh, okay now open another uh, terminal uh, we'll launch the rqt will uh, get us uh, some information from that These all of the topics is running on our system. Okay, then uh, first uh, we'll give the 2D pose estimation. About uh, you can now uh, see the Isaac Sim here with the cartoon, and I'm giving some gold here. So robot is start moving, right? So once I give the pose estimation, so we'll give in this way. right the robot is moving but uh, some error is going on i need to fine tune that so in next video we'll see how to integrate those uh, ice cross package with uh, in media cartoon robot like dnn interference image segmentation yolo v8 object detections so those models uh, will integrate with this thing so so pt ross humble setup dot bash okay crashed uh, no problem and uh, in uh, next video we'll see full autonomous navigation stack how to integrate the things in this video will you will will get idea how to make a navigation stack using a action graph nodes with an integration of a cat and robot so in upcoming video we'll uh, see how to integrate the vision ai model with a cat and robot and also the uh, navigation stack now you can get the global local cast map values and also the localization part so the path is created here but some uh, technical issue is going on so that's not a problem uh, we'll solve that 
okay okay we'll see in uh, this area so these are the action graphs uh, needed to create a, a navigation stack for an amr in isaac sim so i already wrote, write the blog on uh, medium how to create isaac sim amr robot to uh, do the navigation stack in ros2 version in raw navigation 2 so well in next video we will understand how to create a vision a model in a, using isaac ros and integrating with isaac sim to make the vision base robot using a ros2 version thank you we'll see in next video